thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us, David. Oh, thank you. Now, you'll be shortly joining a panel session uh, discussing the uh, challenges of uh, choosing and maintaining top infrastructure when getting involved with HFT. So let's kick things off with a big question. What's the biggest challenge? Well, the biggest challenge for building an infrastructure to interact with HFT is, you know, is to answer other questions of why you need to uh, build it in the first place. Uh, so before you start uh, building this infrastructure, you need to ask yourself um, what it actually means to interact with HFT. And um, then you need to ask yourself, do you actually need, would you want to interact with HFT? And uh, would, you, would you have a need to interact with HFT? So once you answer those questions, which are actually the hardest questions, then you can actually proceed with designing your infrastructure to, to meet your objective. But uh, before you answer those questions, you're not really clear what your objectives are. So when you say, um, should you be interacting with HFT at all, how is that different from just trading in HFT? Uh, well, it's very different because, uh, first of all, what is HFT? The primary strategy for uh, for any HFT firm is to either make a market or make the spread in, in, in the market. So essentially you are earning the bid ask spread on each, um, uh, on each pair of trades. Uh, and the bid ask spread usually is very small. So your, your profit per trade is, is, is very, very small. So if you really want to interact with HFT, it means that you're actually trying to design a strategy to achieve the same objective, i.e make profit on a bid-ask spread. But if, uh, if that's your alpha, if that's your objective, then you're no longer a, a traditional investor, you're no longer a, an intraday trader. You are trying to develop an HFT strategy, and hence you're trying to compete with, uh, with HFT players. And in, which case, in, in, in this case, then yes, of course, you, you know, if, if your strategy is to uh, earn the bid-ask spread, then you are competing with HFT players and you have to build the infrastructure which is as good as anybody else has in this industry. But you know, if your alpha is not making a bid ask spread, uh, then, then you really should think why you actually need this infrastructure. So you've, uh, let's say you've, you've addressed these questions, you've decided yeah. HFT is the route I do want to go down to, you've, you've thought about the idea, maybe I should start developing a strategy. Mm -hmm. Is now really the right time to be doing it? We're on the dawn of these massive regulations, things could change wildly in the next couple of years. Is now not a good time to sit and wait and maybe give it a couple of years before you get going once you know exactly what the playing field is? Yes, from my point of view, it's actually already too late. Okay. Yeah, so the investment, first of all, the investment you would have to make in the infrastructure to compete with HFT strategies is so immense that you will not, you will, it's very unlikely that you'll actually get a return on your investment. So there are only a few firms in the world that can do HFT properly. They already have the infrastructure and they already have resources to improve it. Uh, so if you're a new player trying to uh, compete with them on the same kind of strategies, then it's already too late for you. Well, perhaps <laughs> but on that controversial note, I won't hold you up any further. I know the sessions are about to kick mm -hmm. off once more. So thank you very much for taking no the problem. time and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.